Oh my gosh, you're here. I'm so glad that you stopped by and decided to watch this video. Hey folks, I'm Thunder Monkey back here to meet you. And today we're running up to the shop. You're gonna, you're gonna get an idea of what we're going on to today. Uh, prepping for the corn still. But I want to make sure that we get the most, most out of our corn, right? So you'll see the ditch is there. She's parked. Um, I'm gonna take a, uh, take a pass by her. See, we've got a sprayer unit on the back of that. That ditch really looks funny with that thing set up on it. But we're we're headed up to the shop and we're staying organic. Okay, don't get me wrong, we're staying organic. Okay, All right? So quit freaking out. You're not organic. Yes, we're staying organic. Okay. So just everybody just take a deep breath in into the nose out to the uh, mouth <clears throat> so we you can see also on the back we've got our, our our trailer with our seat on it we're gonna we're gonna load up some more stuff on here we're gonna go to the shop and we're gonna get some things for that sprayer to apply for our corn organically just shut this down uh, and get on our corn field. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look here. And we're going to go into our pallet section here. And we're going to grab us some compost tea. Now if you've not heard of compost tea, it was new to me as well. Uh, basically, and we're going to grab, I don't know, let's grab four of these. Um, it's basically, in it's boiled down form. <laughs> tea boiled. Anyway. Uh, did I buy three or four? I got lost in my joke. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, it's boiled down form. Not technically boiled, but you can boil tea. But it's boiled water, and that's on the tea kettle. And anyway, so, <clears throat> in, in, in its form here, it is water that's been run through compost. Right, so you, you, you've made compost, whatever, and you've got it sitting there, and you decide you want to spray it on in liquid form. It's relatively inexpensive, and it goes quite a ways. Now, I'm hoping that we oh, just knock that bag around, didn't I? I'm hoping that we get a very good. Come on, come on. I've got stuck inside one of the boards. I'm hoping that we get a very good nitrogen level out of it. I don't know how we're going to do there. And Can somebody tell me why this is stuck on here? Stupid board. Somebody get the sledgehammer. That's fascinating. There we go. That's one way to not do it right anyway so I'm hoping to get a good nitrogen level out of it give us a different you know kind of a kind of a way to not break it up but uh, diversify the nutrients to which I'm putting in the ground okay we're just gonna back away from you because you're being a crank master um, so with our, the combination and eventually I'd like to put compost on the ground as well but that's not here today get some compost on the ground do some solid manure some liquid manure like we're doing in the grass but instead of putting it on in injection format make sure you balance the load going to the other side we're go we'll probably just spray this slurry right on over the top and let it soak in over the course of time. Now I'm hoping I don't blow up my weight distribution here on my poor little trailer. Come on, sweetheart. There we go. See, that's how pallets are supposed to work. Pallet forks go in, pallet forks go out. Pallet stays where pallet needs to be. I think I'm just going to go over that back side so I can do the last one from this side. Just because I think it's a nuisance going around the trailer like loading the truck at work where I used to work 
Load dirt over here. Load dirt over there. On the load. Remember, it's gonna go down the road. Yada yada yada. Nobody's ever rolled a truck on a balanced load. So where's the fun? Really? Would be like that again? favor and you want to stay here Straight. I'm beginning to wonder the pallets hate me do you hate your pallets I don't hate my pallets but I'm hoping also this is gonna go fairly quickly because our spread uh, width with our sprayer is so much greater why is this stuck on here That didn't hurt the axles any. Suspension. We won't even talk about the pallet itself. Slop and liquid. Anywho. Let's get right up there in the square. Whoop. I just javelin the pallet. That IVC container is now leaking. And we are making a mess. If this were really real life chapel on the side of that plastic container with the pallet for. Guarantee it's leaking all over the place. Um, I don't like to yell enough was in the fridge yet. They had a small set from the store. Really? I mean, come on. Sitting there leaking in the fridge door. Yeah. Okay, do you want to do me a favor and let go of my ego? Just a little bit of my ego. Not the whole ego. There's some of it. I'll share. Alright, right, let's let's inspect this load. It won't be good. It's not going very far. And it's those pallets are too wide. I think I know why. It spawns them on the side. It spawns them 90 degrees off. He gave them to us. I should have been coming in there. No wonder I was getting stuck sliding on the wrong boards. Anyway, not to mention they're on there the wrong direction. Let's strap it down. Last thing I need is this thing hanging, uh, coming off. Yeah, that's that's good. That's a good strap job. Man, I'll tell you what. If you've ever strapped something down, your straps look like that. You do not belong on the road with the load you're trying to take someplace. That's just all I'm saying. Whoa. All right, let's get out of here before somebody calls us into OSHA or DOT or something. Whatever they have over here. Maybe they don't have anything like that. Maybe we can just go and be unsafe and nobody will care. Let's load this little thing up. Come on, honey. Pull that heavy load. But yeah, we'll go down. We'll get the sprayer filled up and start knocking out some fields. <coughs> Oof. All right, so first fields first. Let's line it up. All right, sir. I got some stuff for you. And we are almost dead in the water. Come on, honey. Might be just a little bit too much for this tractor and it's tires. That's okay. Alright, so this thing here. Whoop, oh, there we go. Fill that bad boy right on up. Fire it up and let's get going, right? Or here before I open it up and plank one of my brand new arms right off that thing. What a Zumba. All 
All right. Off to the races, baby. Come on. What's wrong with this transmission? Why is it stuck in this gear? Alright, hang on. Shut that down. Hang on. Shut that down. Shut that down. Throttle is back down. What is going on? Alright, here we go. Or not. There we go. Come on, my little girl. There we go. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Don't. You're gonna hit the tree. You're gonna hit the tree. Oh, learn about trees. Come on, sweetheart. I know you're small and short and stumpy. If it wasn't for me. I wouldn't be me, right? Make sense? Put that extra compost tea never hurt anybody, right? Now we're cruising. Yeah, baby! Oh, it's looking so good. Organic, baby, yeah. Plenty of power here. Oh, so we'll say. So yeah, so, keeping with the organic thing, I think this is gonna match up real well here. Dead. It seems to spread quite a ways. So we should not have a problem blowing this onto our fields and having, um, having enough to go around. I mean, this, should, this shouldn't be a refill, 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 refill thing. Like Slurry tends to be, but, and Slurry, that's okay. Okay, come on. Oh, what the ground? Um, that's that's all. That's all right with Surrey. There's nothing wrong with that. It is what it is. And it is completely free. It doesn't even cost us what compost costs us. Or compost tea. No, 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 let's call it compost tea. Why? Well, because it kind of looks like tea, like sort of thing. I don't know. Shut that down and let's reposition the old beast. Things to dead gum short. It's hard to get the, the turning radius pulled off on it. You know what I mean? So yeah, I didn't hardly use anything. I mean granted this isn't that big of a field. But I have not hardly used anything. And the way of actual product and we're getting exactly what we want here which is great so we'll go ahead we'll fold this up got this off a Russian guy down the street um <clears throat> head on out Sneak out through another farmyard here. I guess 
just like having lights on fire. Because this thing has no guts when it comes to hills. We've seen that in the past. And I've got a hill here. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh wow, that's better than I thought it was going to be. Heck, we're accelerating! Who knew? To our other field. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. All right, wait, wait. Is that the fact I can't drive? Did I make a wrong turn? I made a wrong. I could. Ah, oh, I hate when I make a wrong turn. Excuse me, I'm just gonna run over your bushes. I think you guys would mind. Wrong, um, bloody, blessed turn. All I have to do is turn left. I turn right. You turn! Go up the hill here. Punch into my little triangle field right over here. This thing seems to have got power upgrade. Alright, here we are in our wonderful little fields right over here. Off to the races again. Come on, work up hill. This is not light hills. In fact, it just has never loved hills. It's been like its arch nemesis. Oh, that's a hill? Yeah, I don't do those. Yeah, uh, I mean, we got weeds growing out here and kind of pop them out. Probably don't need to do it right away because I'm about to recultivate and, and uh, plant. I say recultivate. But I gotta cultivate it. It goes on front of the tractor but as we're planting. So it's kind of like recall cultivating. Or maybe we'll call it proper bed um, cultivation. Proper, proper seed bed, something or other. I may have overbought. I got eight thousand liters of compost tea sitting back there. <laughs> I know we've got some bigger fields, but oh, Nelly! Yeah, this is going a long way. I mean, I know these small fields that I got those two huge ones up there. But maybe two pallets was enough? Who knows, maybe in the future we'll make this ourselves. Get a pit put down and start doing a little compost work. Spread it on with a newer spreader. A lot of our grass into compost itself. That would, I mean, it would do a great job just because. Um, there we go. Take that off. Get this old goat turned around. says this tracker has no use. Ah! The Dutra's the beast. Look at this. Look at this little beast go. 
jets back off again. Much easier turn this time. Whew. Sucked the power right out of me there, didn't it? Come on, honey. I can almost hold a straight line here, I'll tell you. Shockingly crazy. Telling you, this is the way to do it, man. You can go all organic and, uh, and not have it cost you a fortune, but be able to get the profits out of selling organic products. Oh man, I'm gonna talk about a genie in a bottle. I'm maybe not a genie in a bottle, but. Bible genie. Come on, honey. You can do it. All right, there we go. Then that wraps up this field here. Go ahead and collapse those arms down. Take them off while I'm driving between trees. We'll go hit this other little field down here. I'll just leave us the big ones. Especially the width that we're spreading here. I mean, crazy. Absolutely crazy wide. Totally got this. That's a great little sprayer I was able to pick up, right? Doing a heck of a bang up job. Yeah, who can argue with this, right? Raise your hand if you can, I'll ignore you. Um, <laughs> sorry, did I say that out loud? I meant to say that in my inner monologue. Fire him up. Hallelujah, it's working. Get it, get it. 
this. So yeah. So I, I, I think this is gonna be a an integral part of my little farm here. Compost and compost tea, if you will. People I think take quite the advantage of the capabilities here which were offered. Um, you know, with, with the addition of this and the manure, I, I'm hoping to have really substantial yields, you know, yields that are going to rival anyone else in, in the industry. Maybe I'm a step ahead, maybe I'm just on, on the leading edge, I'm not sure, but so long as I can take advantage of it and get more to market because Frankly, I'm producing more. That'd be idea. That'd be great, right? Right? That's great. Excuse me. Dust. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man. It's a little dry out here. That looks like one more pass got this leg. So I hope that you guys were thrilled beyond belief with compost tea and like, oh my gosh. I have so got to do that in my field now, right? Like this, like this thing ever. Um, it's on the mod out there. It's on the mod out there. Go ahead and look it up. It's not, it's not bad, and, and if you're using precision farming, uh, hit me up. I can help you out with making it uh, show up in the game properly. Because the game does not, uh, precision farming does not recognize this. So, that's just a heads up, that's why. But I figured it out. I can show you a few easy steps, little copy paste, and you're there. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed again. If you did, tell your friends, get them to come along and watch as well. That would be awesome. Give me a thumbs up if you're happy enough to do so. You catch me in my next live stream, which will be more often, but with working three jobs and doing this series and studying uh, <laughs> for an exam for real estate you know, we did busy but I'll get there I'll get there so look forward to seeing you guys next time but for today guys I'm Lord Thunder Monkey and we'll see you on the flip side <laughs>